All right, aloha one, aloha all. Michael, your friendly neighborhood philosopher. Today, I wanted to touch bases with everyone on the subject of I am possible. So, if you're watching this and listening to the words that I am speaking, then yes, the answer to that question is a resounding yes, because if you're thinking, you're being. If you're being, you are existing here on Earth. So know that anything is possible through God because zero is less than infinity and one is also smaller than infinity. So what does that mean? Well, anything is possible through God. So God is the infinity symbol in the two-dimensional realm of what we are doing right now. So if we see that infinity symbol and we know that it is only two dimensions, then what we can do is we can spin it on its y-axis, that creates a toroidal shape. And then what happens with the toroidal shape is that it is moving in and out, it's curving in on itself, and it's coming back up around and through itself. And it's quite amazing. And if you understand that, then you know that anything is possible because there's no beginning, there's no end, there's only a continual change of motion. So everything in the universe is basically expressions of mechanical energy. And mechanical energy is kinetic energy plus potential energy. So it's the summation of those two things. So if you realize that what I'm speaking about is simply everything is a mathematical operation. Everything has a function. Everything is gearing up towards the reality that you are creating for yourself. Then you'll sort of understand how important it is to take full responsibility for everything that you do. Now, if, if what I'm saying doesn't make sense, that's okay. It took me a while to get this. If I knew what I know now, back when I started this process, at the age of three, when I got poked in my eye, then it would have been a whole different ball game. Now, for years, that was my earliest memory. So it was a fairly severe eye injury that caused me to know that I am designed to care about other people. So right after it happened, I wasn't concerned about myself. It must have been painful, but I wasn't thinking about that. I was concerned about my parents who were freaking out. I was concerned about my twin brother who was involved in the accident. And instead of thinking, oh my gosh, you know, what's going to happen to me? I just observed reality. That's all I did. And the thing that I recall seeing first was my dad's purple colored shirt. That was the first color that I realized that I saw. And I also remember being driven to the hospital. I believe it was my mom that was holding me. And I was looking out the window. And I just remember after that being wheeled on the gurney to the surgical room and then I remember breathing in the I, I don't know what the gas was but um, whatever an anesthesiologist uses and that was it and 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 as I was being wheeled on the gurney I felt really high and I was like we <laughs> so for years that was my earliest memory now, 
A few years later, when I was approximately 21, I saw a picture of my twin brother and I sitting behind the table behind our birthday cakes. So we each got our own birthday cake and it was such a joy. Mine was green and my brother's was blue. And it was a cowboys and Indians motif and my parents sung happy birthday to us. Now I'm, I'm looking at the cake and I'm focusing in on the middle candle specifically the flame of the middle candle. And that was the only time that I remember seeing perfectly with 2020 vision. So my 2020 vision was that the year 2020 was going to be a challenge. It was going to be foretold and the year 2020 will become known as year zero so pay attention to what's happening the middle flame the dance of the middle flame that I observed the colors the sound and resonance of the flame the motion of it was very comforting now I basically phased out of the third dimension into the best way I could describe it is the eighth dimension. That was my taste of Christ consciousness and I knew then that everything was going to be different. Our reality would be changing and everything is going to be okay guys. That I know. So, what does this mean moving forward? Well, listen to your feelings because it's God speaking to you. Now, if you don't pay attention to your present moments and you go on about your day distracted and thinking that it's okay not to take full responsibility for your actions. You'll experience the effects of those decisions. So be aware, be wary, and beware because there are many beings that will try to deceive you, that will try to tell you you are less than, that will try to dismiss your belief system and it doesn't matter what you believe if you appreciate life and you know that you exist for a reason and whether or not you understand God the way I do doesn't matter what matters the most is that God loves you whether you are aware of that or not what matters is how you are currently feeling and when you reconcile the difference between what you think is really happening and how you feel about what is actually occurring, then things get really surreal. So that word surreality is, is amazing. I mean, when you understand and know that living in a dream, a, a lucid dream where you control how you react, how you respond, and you don't let your thinking control you, then you're going to know more than you could ever possibly imagine. And it's a miracle. So know thyself, Tamit Naske, and accept who and what you are. Once you do that, things will become a delight. When everything is delightful, your life will have meaning, it'll have purpose, and you will be thriving. We already know how to survive. Some of us know how to live. When you learn how to thrive, then you are driving the car. So get into the conscious awareness of reality and decide where you are going and everyone 
we'll make it home. All right. I love you guys. Thank you very much for listening. Pay attention to your present moments and know that God loves you dearly. Ciao for now.